Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my July Ipsy bag here for you today, and as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've tried out most of the products inside. There's one in here that I kind of like goofed on and didn't fully try it, but I'll explain that in a moment. So most of these I have some feedback on, so, and even the one that I goofed, I have some feedback, so. I'm just babbling. So let's get to the Ipsy bag. Okay, so the theme this month is hot summer nights. It says the heat is on. We've cranked up the cool on ipsy.com with new insider how-to tips, tricks, and videos. Everything you need to know to master your summer beauty. So I guess all about summertime. This is what the bag looks like. I think it's really cute. It's like a nice kind of iridescent-y silver sort of a color and it's got the little umbrellas and the little shades. Super cute, and I like that there's just the one little fuchsia pink one right there, so the other side is uh, solid. So I really like this. It's like a nice plasticky material, easy to clean, so this is a cute bag. Let's see what's in it. So first off, I got a lotion. This is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin. It says the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion with Icelandic Kelp. So I did try this, and it does feel nice and moisturizing, and it's super cooling, so... I would definitely use this during the summer, not in the fall or winter, because I get really cold sometimes, but sometimes I get really hot. I feel like my like base I'm comfortable temperature is a very small window. So anyway, I'm babbling again, but it's a nice lotion. It feels hydrating, but it's definitely cooling. So on like a hot summer day, this would be really nice. So fits the summer theme really nicely. Um, scent wise, it's kind of like a, sort of um, minty, a little bit minty, but then a little bit um, slightly herbally, but not really more minty than anything. So I do like this, but makeup's always my first pick. And then I got a little angled brush from Luxie Beauty. This is the 215 Small Angle Brush, and it's very nice. It's really nice and like soft, good kind of like synthetic-y sort of bristles. But it's a good combo where it's soft, but it's also pretty dense. Um, so it's, you know, easy to use. So I do really like this. I love the pink handle. And I'm always excited about tools. You know, brushes are one of those things that's not like, I don't know, like a lotion that you may use up in a couple of weeks. It's something you're going to have around for a long time. So I like getting tools, especially brushes. Then I got a hair serum. This is the Eva NYC Get Glossed Hair Serum. And it's 0.4 fluid ounces, so a pretty good size, especially for, you know, like a treatment like this. I love the way their stuff smells, especially their like oils and anything I've gotten that's like a treatment or an oil or something like that. They always smell like vanilla, like vanilla extract amazingness. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So I did use this on my hair today. I do think that it added some like shine to my hair. Um, I have to be careful with these kind of products because I have fine hair, so it can weigh it down really easily. So I just have to use less, but I love the way it smells. And I think it's always nice to have these kind of products just to kind of like give your ends a little bit of hydration, a little bit of shine. So I don't prefer to get hair products. It's not my first pick, but if I do get them, I really do like this brand. And this is the thing that I kind of goofed on when I went to try it out. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash arresting volume mascara so I goofed because I forgot to use it so <laughs> I started out using another mascara and then I used this on top of it so I at least got to kind of like you know see the wand um, a little bit about the formula so it's a tiny little wand it reminds me of the Tarte mascara which I really like so I like these kind of small wands that you know you can really get in there to your lashes um, as far as like what it did, I mean, I was using it over kind of a thicker, volumizing, clumpier mascara, and I do feel like it kind of defined my lashes a little bit better, but still seemed like it would build on itself nicely. So kind of a skewed first impression on this. I really do like it, and I think the little packaging is cute. So I think it's going to be a pretty good mascara. And lastly, my favorite thing in the bag is I got an eyeshadow. This is the Mellow baked eyeshadow and this is in plum. I do have this on my eyes today. I have it mixed with some other things so you're not seeing just this but I did use it today and I really really like it. It's a beautiful just plummy color and it's got like kind of a brownish I don't know like a coppery brown sort of a tint to it like a, a sheen to it. It's so pretty. 
I think this is one that if you used it um, foiled, it would even be more intense. So just a beautiful, plummy, baked shadow. So love this. I always get excited about makeup. So these are the kind of things that I love to see in my bag. So this is my favorite. Super pretty eyeshadow. All right, guys, so that's everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. You know, I think it's still a win. I think this was still a really good bag, but I do have some others recently that I've liked better just because in recent months it's been like knocked out of the park good and some really good makeup-y things which are always my first pick, like color cosmetics. So I do have some others that I've liked better than this one, but this one was still really good. Like, I love the eyeshadow. I'm glad I'm getting to try out the mascara. Always love this brand. A tool's always nice. You know, the lotion's probably my least favorite, but it's not a bad lotion. Lotion's just not my first pick to get in the bag. So anyway, still a good bag. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, it is $10 a month. I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. What was your favorite thing that you got? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.